over the years, what what are some of your favorite storylines? Or a favorite, what what really stands out is a lot of the stuff that Douglas Marlin did. The, the one because anytime you get to go to Venice and London and shoot, you know, when you've been boxed up at the Dairy on Fifty Seventh Street all these years, that was great. Uh, and then there was another. There's another resolution uh, of a story that we shot. Actually, we only got up to uh, uh, Connecticut, where one of our directors, one of our best directors, who no longer with us, Paul Lammers, lived, Washington, Connecticut. Well, we had a helicopter thing come in, and that again involved Julianne Moore and John Wesley's ship. It was a guy who was fixated on uh, Kim, Catherine Hayes, my wife, and he was actually courting my daughter, uh, Franny, Julianne Moore, and actually he was, uh, had this thing, and he was a nut. He had a, a room with pictures of her and everything, and had killed a couple of people and whatever. And the resolution uh, of that story happened up in uh, Paul Lammer's backyard. He's got acreage, had acreage up in uh, Connecticut. Uh, but that was another Douglas Marlin story. Um, the blind story was interesting uh, to do. I mean, and I, they, they tried to tape my eyes and leave a slit that I, and they couldn't because you could see, the camera could see that there was. So I had to be on a live television show blindfolded with a lot of stuff to do. So that was a bit of a challenge because there was no prompter, there's no, uh, you know, and I used to say to Charlie Paul, who was the organist, he would start the theme and I, and it wasn't it. And I'd say, Charlie, don't do that because if you start the theme, I think we're on the air, <laughs> you know, because I'm already taped. One of the funny things that happened one time, and it, ha it didn't happen on the air, but it happened in a dress rehearsal. Grandpa Yu, Santa Sartega, comes to see Blind Bob and take him for a walk in the hospital. And he gets to double doors, and he opened his side, and he walked me right into the closed door. I, well, we'd have shut down and laughed for half an hour, the whole crew and the cast. It was just hysterical. <laughs>